So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So apparently we are very close to the David Hay, Tony Bellew rematch, um, apparently being signed very soon, apparently going to be announced very soon, and it's going to be for December. I'm hearing the date is December 4th um, at the O2 Arena, that's what I've been seeing online. From online sources, obviously this is just rumours at the minute, but David Hay has been dropping hints on his Twitter. Um, he wrote a tweet the other day saying, enjoying the sun in Turkey, getting my mind and body ready for training camp. Hoping to confirm, hashtag Hey Bell you too, hashtag the rematch soon. So if David Hay is tweeting stuff like that, that's got me thinking that negotiations um, must be done, or nearly done. Because David Hay apparently was the one who was holding up the negotiations, saying that obviously he wants more of what he wants even though he lost the first fight he still wants what he wants David Hay in the fight in terms of negotiations like money wise um, ring walks and all that shit David Hay is a very egotistical man so all them things matter to him like ring walks where he is on the fucking billboards and shit like that you know what I mean so it'll be very interesting to see when this fight is going to be announced and it'll be interesting to see how the fight actually happens like, what will go on in the second fight? Because we all know what happened in the first fight. David Hay came out against Tony Bellew. Everyone, even myself, was thinking David Hay was going to get the victory inside the first um, five or six rounds. But I thought to myself, Tony Bellew is experienced enough to hang on. So if he wants to um, survive for the first five or six rounds, then I think he can. And that's exactly what he did, um, Tony Bellew. David Hay came out. It took him a few rounds to get his timing. Like, David Hay... He just didn't really look as sharp, did he, as he used to. But at 36 years old, that's no surprise. And this man has been riddled with injuries. I don't know, the extra weight he had on him, he looked bulky. He just didn't look right, David Hay. His stance was fucking weird. And he just couldn't get the timing against Tony Bellew for the first few rounds. But then he started to land a few hard shots as the fight progressed. Got into the third, fourth, fifth rounds. And he started to chip away a little bit at Tony Bellew. But we all know what happened in the sixth round. His Achilles snapped on him. And then it was all downhill from him. It looked like he had a shoulder injury as well, but obviously we haven't really heard anything about a shoulder injury, so that must have not have been a problem. But it did look like at the time that his shoulder was hurt because the way he was throwing punches, his shoulder just didn't look right. And obviously we all know from the 6th to the 11th round, he got a complete shellacking off Tony Bellew, and he got stopped in the 11th round. And ever since then, everyone's been calling for this rematch, saying, oh, Tony Bellew won, but it's only because David Hay was injured. Give him a rematch. And David Hay will win the rematch. And a lot of people are saying David Hay's finished. And that he should retire. In my opinion if David Hay wants to be considered as a top heavyweight in the world again. He has to beat Tony Bellew. Because Tony Bellew isn't even considered a heavyweight. This guy was fighting at cruiserweight. He's had one fight at heavyweight. So David Hay needs to come back and get revenge against Tony Bellew. And knock him out in my opinion. To be considered a dangerous force in the heavyweight division. But I think David Hay can beat Tony Bellew. But if he can knock him out, that's a different story. Because Tony Bellew is a very experienced fighter. But I think if it went to a points fight, I think David Hay has the advantage. Because I think David Hay is the more talented fighter than Tony Bellew. That was obvious in the first fight. But obviously David Hay was just injured after the first six rounds. And Tony Bellew took over and got him out of there in the 11th rounds. But until the injury, David Hay looked like the more talented fighter. But... It just didn't look as sharp. Like David Hay, you fought Audley Harrison. And even Derek Chisora, I think, would have knocked Tony Bellew out. But he just couldn't get it against Tony Bellew. But Tony Bellew is a very good fighter. People underestimate Tony Bellew. But he is a good fighter, Tony Bellew. And if he wants to survive and try and wait David Hay out, then I think he can do it. But can he do it in the second, re um, in the second fight? I mean, because it would be interesting to see where Tony Bellew is at mentally. Because he's won the first fight. He said he was close to retiring himself. Will he show up again for the rematch against David Hay after beating him the first time? So it'll be interesting to see if he can get, get himself back into the mind state he did for the first fight. Because he said he went to a dark place the first time to prepare for the David Hay fight. He said obviously he was worried for his health and for his family because he was thinking in the back of his mind he could get brutally knocked out here. Because David Hay hits extremely hard and can lay guys out. And Tony Bell he was thinking that's a possibility that could happen to him. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this um, rematch gets on. Tony Bellew hasn't really spoke much about it. I think he's been having some personal problems um, within his personal life. So, he's been taking a bit of time for himself and with his family. And I think Tony Bellew will eventually get around to it. 
but obviously he's got his personal um, reasons at the moment, so I think we'll just have to wait and see, but I think this rematch will be announced very soon, and it's a good fight, I really want to see this fight, I really want to see the rematch, because I feel like there is unfinished business here, because the first five or six rounds, the fight didn't really catch fire, and then the injury happened, and it just kind of fell apart for David Hay, and then it was just a foregone conclusion really, we just all knew Tony Bell was going to win the fight after that, we didn't know when, we didn't know how he was going to win, if he was going to knock Tony Bill, if he was going to knock David Hay out, or David Hay's corner was going to pull him out. But yeah, it's very interesting. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys like this rematch? Did you think Tony Bell, you should have just went on and fought Joseph Parker or somebody like that? Did you think David Hay should have moved on? But I think there's no other fight for David Hay. I think he needs to fight Tony Bell you in a rematch or call it quits. Because I don't think he'll be taken serious as a serious contender. In the heavyweight division until he beats until he beats tony bellew in the rematch so yeah comment below in the comment section it's jm it's sweet boxing